is time to reset for a new month. This is one of my favorite days of the month because if you guys don't watch these videos normally, I take a day just to plan for the next month ahead, go through some goals, figure out what I want the month to look like. It's a day just to kind of get organized and prepared for the month ahead. My friend Carter Sullivan is always an inspiration for these. She started these years and years ago. And each month we keep some things the same, some things we switch up depending on what I feel like I need personally for the month ahead. So I always would encourage you just to take this, not to say that you have to make goals, that you have to budget, that you have to do this, but figure out what you need for your life individually. I'm really looking forward to May. We have a lot of big things coming up that I will share later on in this video. Here's everything that I wanna accomplish for this video. I wanna go through last month's goals and see what we accomplished, what we didn't, and also set some new goals for May. I always like to go through and do some calendar planning that includes doing my digital calendar and also this physical calendar that we have that just includes kind of like our personal life, family life stuff, I like to do that. I also wanna do some budgeting and I never share exact numbers, but in this month specifically, one of our big goals, I'll share this later, is to cut back and to save in a lot of areas. So I wanted to share some of the ways that we are personally trying to cut back if you too are in a phase where you're kind of trying to trim the fat of your budget. I also wanna make a Spotify playlist of a lot of the music I've been enjoying lately. I am so bad about creating actual playlists. I kind of just click through on Spotify the songs that I like. I wanna actually be intentional about creating an actual playlist. And so I'm gonna do that and then also share it with you guys if you guys wanna check it out. Each month we also have a meeting with our accountant and I wanna make sure that I write out some questions for that meeting and just make sure I have everything I need for that. So we'll do that. I also wanna do some brainstorming of some video ideas. That's kind of personal for me, but that's something that I wanna do as we head into May. And then I wanna finish off with some current favorites, some things that I've been loving and some things that I wanna share with you guys. I did wanna share a quote that I really wanna focus on for the next month ahead. I found this on Pinterest, which happens to be one of my favorites here lately. This is from J.I. Packer from the book, Knowing God. It says, wait on the Lord is a constant refrain in the Psalms and it is a necessary word. For God often keeps us waiting. He is not in such a hurry as we are and it is not his way to give more light on the future than we need for action in the present or to guide us more than one step at a time. When in doubt, do nothing but continue to wait on God. When action is needed, light will come. I just really like that. That popped up on my Pinterest and I think May is gonna be a big month of a lot of change with just like moving and all that stuff coming up. So I felt like that was just a sweet quote to stay grounded this month. Let's reflect over last month's goals. I do wanna mention that I use Notion for all of my goal planning and I use a wonderful template from Becca Watson here on YouTube who also creates beautiful videos. If you guys wanna check her out, I'm sure you already know Becca, but she has a template that has been so handy for just getting used to Notion. So I'll link that down below. It's not very expensive. It's just on Etsy, super easy to download. For April goals for work, I had to finalize some brand deals that I have done. I'm really excited for just those longer term partnerships with brands that I love. So looking forward to that. You'll see some of those ads popping up here and there here soon. I also had to set up calls about possibly hiring someone that I haven't actually set up the calls, but I have gotten the contact. So that was kind of a half completed one. There is one position in particular I'm thinking of possibly hiring someone later on. And so I was trying to find, sorry, this dress is annoying. It slides down all the time. It's a beautiful dress, but I need to get it tailored a bit more to my body. So excuse that if I'm slipping out. There's one position in particular I'm thinking about actually hiring someone, but I did get the contact for that. So that was good. For health, I had more yoga and by yoga, I meant just stretching my body more. And that I feel like I did a little bit more, but not as much as I could. So I definitely wanna keep doing that in this next month ahead too. I had my candle cleanse, which we are still going strong on. I haven't lit a candle since probably February at this point, maybe March, don't quote me on that, but I am feeling good and I am feeling better. I do notice that I don't get nearly as many headaches when I'm not burning candles as much. And so we're liking that so far. I had to get a massage that I haven't done because I just haven't really wanted to spend the money on that, but maybe next month we'll do that. Stop picking my skin. I'm gonna be honest. I've been really bad about my skin. You can't really tell right now, but my skin is breaking out like crazy these days. And I've been popping my pimples, which is bad. And I need to stop doing that. For personal, I had to book summer trips. We did do that. We have one trip that we're going on with Aiden's family that that we did get on the book. So I'm excited about that. Get back into sourdough baking this. I did do a little bit. I did try my hand at sourdough bagels. I posted about that over on Instagram, but they turned out so, so good. So I was excited to do that. Memorizing more scripture. I did do this with a couple of verses, but like always, I feel like it could have been better. Reading for fun again. I did start a book that I will share later on that I really like. So we did start that, but that also is one of my goals for next month. Attend church class. So this was something that we were planning on doing, but I didn't realize that we had a photo shoot booked the same day. So hopefully 
in May, we're gonna make that happen. So that's just one of my goals in general, just to do more at church. Celebrate Aiden well. It was Aiden's birthday this past month. I feel like we had so many birthdays in my family in general. It was just a month of celebration, which was really nice. For finances, I had to cut out excessive purchases like my nails, which are not looking so hot. I gotta admit, I do miss having just pretty nails. My nails are so chipped right now. Please do not look at them but I did cut out that purchase. So we're saving money there. And then lastly, I had to get a business credit card, which we also to do. Let's talk about May. These are the kind of intentions, the goals that I wanna focus on. For work, I have to post more on Instagram. I have been very MIA on Instagram. I just have not been on my game lately, but I do anticipate being more active in May though. So really looking forward to that. I have to be less afraid about trying new editing styles. So this is when it comes to my YouTube videos. I feel like over the past like six months or year, I've kind of been following the same format for my videos. They kind of all feel and look the same, which I like. I definitely like having kind of a cohesive vibe to my videos where when you click on the video, you know you're gonna feel a certain way. I've been trying to switch things up a little bit recently just to kind of breathe new life into my content. And so, yeah, I wanna keep working on that for work stuff. YouTube shorts, that's another thing that I wanna focus on. YouTube shorts are increasingly more popular. I honestly have been watching a lot of YouTube shorts here lately. I know not everyone loves them because we all get our short form content on different platforms, but I in particular have been liking YouTube shorts. And so I wanna to try to post just at least a couple of those in May. For health, I had to spend more time outside. This is something that I relate to my health because I personally feel a lot better physically when I spend time in nature, when I spend time in the sunshine. Next weekend, Aiden and I are going on just a little road trip getaway and I anticipate having a lot of time for hiking and just spending time outdoors. So I really wanna soak that up. More stretching post-workout. I've really been focusing on the strength workouts lately and that means that I've had some sore muscles these days and so I really wanna focus on just stretching and focusing on that going into May. For personal, I had to dress up more often. Now this one I wanted to elaborate on because if I can just say the past month, I have not really felt like myself in terms of my appearance. I have been very low confidence because my skin has been breaking out a lot. I haven't been putting in effort. I feel like we haven't had as many just events and that kind of stuff. And I noticed that I just don't feel my best confident self. And it really doesn't take that much more time to just put in some effort into what I wear. Like even today, I spent a little bit more on my hair today, but I love the way it looks. I use my Dyson Airwrap, put on some lipstick. And obviously this isn't like a daily thing. And I think it's still good to feel beautiful and confident in your natural skin. But I used to just kind of get ready for the day a lot more often, especially in college. I would dress up a lot. I feel like other people perceive you differently, but also you perceive yourself so much differently when you put in that effort. I also noticed, and this might be shallow, but I'm more likely to create content, which is a part of my job when I do feel confident in what I look like and what I'm wearing. So kind of shallow, but I also think it's nice to kind of put effort into your appearance every now and then. I had to read two books. This one's specific because I need a specific goal. I don't normally like giving myself numerical goals because it kind of feels like a lot of pressure sometimes, but I need to read more. It's better for my mental health. It's better just for my education purposes too, to do that. And so I want to actually read two books start to finish. Church involvement, this is another thing. I feel like we've been at our church for so long now, but just have not been as involved as I want to be, we want to be, and so I want to focus on that. Start packing our apartment. Our lease is up soon, and I do not want to be in the situation where I'm scrambling to pack up our place a week before. That was us last year, and it was not fun. And so I would like to slowly start, especially like our balcony. I put in a lot of effort, but that is going to take a while to pack up. Stuff like that, that I can kind of do in advance. I just want to be diligent about doing that beforehand instead of packing up everything the last week of May. And then lastly, I had a weekly date night. So this is something that I mentioned. I did a whole video on just like little ways to elevate your life. And I feel like we used to be better, Aiden and I, about doing just a weekly date night of hanging out. It really is so much fun just setting aside that time to put away work and get dressed up and just have a good night out. I don't think it has to be something where you spend a lot of money, especially because we are trying to save more money going into the next few months. And so I think there are ways to do this where it's not super, super expensive, but... I still think it's important. And lastly for finances, I had to cut out excessive purchases. I'll share those things here in a second. 
And then I also had to be proactive with accountant questions. So I've talked about this in the last few monthly resets, but we started working with an accountant and having someone keep up with your books as a business owner is expensive. And I feel like I wanna make sure that I am using them as a resource to the best of our ability. And so I just wanna be better about coming up with questions. Sometimes it's easy to just act like you know everything when you go into meetings with professionals in an area that you don't know a lot of information. And I don't wanna do that. I wanna know that I'm paying them to do this for me. And so I wanna make sure that I don't seem like I know it all because I don't and I have lots and lots to learn. Next up, I wanna plan out my calendars. So for anything that is kind of work related or even personal life, I kind of blend the two. I use Google Calendar. I really like it. It syncs up to a lot of different services that I use. And I just find that it's easier for me to keep most of those things digitally. But I've talked about how we incorporated this little family calendar. I'll try to link a similar one. I can never find the exact one anymore, but it's just a really big calendar that I will fill out with all of kind of like our family and personal dates. And I'll rip this out and just hang it up so we can look at everything. So we're also gonna fill this out. I feel really good going ahead knowing, and a lot of times when it comes to all my work-related stuff, when I'm answering emails or stuff pops up, I'll just throw it on my calendar, but I won't organize it. And I definitely don't have the most organized calendar. That's not something that's super important to me, I've realized, but I still like to organize it a little bit. So we're gonna go in here and do both of those things. budgeting. I'm going to take some time just to go through our budget and kind of see where we are in line, where we're not. But I also wanted to share some of the things that I've been brainstorming where we can kind of cut back in certain areas. We have quite a few expenses coming up, especially when it comes to moving. And so I just want to be intentional about not overspending in other areas of our budget. Firstly, I have less Whole Foods runs. I love Whole Foods. I love the produce at Whole Foods. I know that the meat is a lot higher quality, but it is obviously a much more expensive option. Lately, I've been trying to just be a little bit more budget friendly when it comes to groceries or still going to Whole Foods, but it not being the number one <laughs> grocery store that we go to. I really do love using Thrive Market. This is not an ad, but sometimes I will forget to order kind of those specialty items on there when it's so much less expensive than picking them up at Whole Foods. And so I just want to be more mindful about that and not doing the whole foods runs for convenience but just being smart and intentional about them decluttering and selling clothes earlier this week i sold a bunch of clothes that i had paid for personally and those were sold at uptown cheapskate and i made 100 bucks doing that it wasn't a ton a ton of money but i want to be intentional again just about decluttering getting rid of stuff especially because we are moving but also because you can make some extra cash that way doing poshmark i think that those are all great ways just to get extra kind of cash for those little things. Less fancy dinners. I love a good restaurant meal. I wish I was someone who didn't really care about that stuff, but I love getting dressed up and having a nice meal. It's really, really fun for me, but I just don't wanna be doing a ton of that for the next few months. I think in summertime too, you're just doing a lot more outside and hanging out with people that I think it's easier to kind of not go out as much, but I just wanna cut back a little bit in that area. And then also just using our credit card points for travel. That is an area that I would say that we do prioritize spending more. We really love seeing family, especially Aiden's families up north. I think there's a way to be smart about traveling where you use credit card points or even this next weekend, we are doing a little road trip that is also kind of for a work thing. But originally we were thinking of doing somewhere a little bit farther and just doing an Airbnb when I realized that I had a credit from another hotel sort of deal that I could use instead and it would just not be as expensive. And so we ended up opting for that option. It's just things like that, kind of looking at your budget, seeing where it makes sense, where it doesn't make sense to spend more in those areas. I will say that credit card points are not always usable. I recently had to cancel a trip for other reasons, but it was supposed to be with a brand. I was really, really excited for it but we decided to cancel for another reason. And I was trying to use the credit from that along with our credit card points to purchase flights and it wouldn't let me. So it's things like that. that sometimes it doesn't work perfectly to use the points. And we have the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. That's the one that we use and we really like it. I feel like they have a lot of good travel benefits and especially right when you sign up. But I will say that I think credit cards can be really useful, but they can also be not super useful. You just have to be wise about how you use them. And lastly is just less clothing purchases. I feel like I've 
been good about this over the last couple months in general. I think especially as someone who does YouTube and Instagram, it's easy to kind of want to purchase new clothes all the time to share links because in a lot of instances it is better for your business, but it's not always better for the wallet. And I also don't want to be encouraging other people to just spend money all the time. And so I want to be mindful about that in May as well. Next up, we're creating a playlist. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I will link it down below when I finish it. It'll probably be by the time that this video goes up. I really like listening to music that is just very kind of inspiring, very calming. And so if that's your vibe, I'll have it linked down below. Next, I wanna prep for that meeting that I mentioned. I just wanna write out some questions, some things that I've been wondering. I do just wanna prep and plan however I can to come prepared for that meeting. And lastly, we have a video brainstorm session. So this is something that I do every kind of couple months or so. I feel like with my videos, I have a pretty steady idea of what I wanna create each week. I don't do kind of a whole content calendar. I feel like trends just change so much and that is just not my vibe at this point. And so I don't do anything like that, but I like to have a running list of just ideas. If I do have a video that I need to shoot and I'm really not having a ton of inspiration, then I can just go to that list. So we're gonna work on that next. For current favorites, I love this segment because it always feels like the old school YouTube where you just would sit down and do a favorites video. I feel like those are not as popular anymore and so I always love just throwing these into each monthly reset to give an idea of things I've been liking, products, books. First and foremost, I have been loving iced chai lattes lately. I don't know why, but there's something about just the cinnamon. Sometimes I will make them dirty, which just means that you put espresso shots in them, but they have just been hitting different. And yeah, I haven't been super into cold brew or even just normal iced lattes lately, but there's something about chai that has just been hitting the spot lately. So it's definitely been a favorite. Pinterest is another thing. I have been loving Pinterest lately. I feel like so many forms of social media can just make you feel down, make you compare yourself to other people. And I guess people could do that with Pinterest too, but I find Pinterest to be a very inspiring place just to look at different like pretty photos. I find a lot of quotes on there, a lot of kind of DIYs, a lot of home inspiration. And I've been trying to be more mindful lately when I go to scroll on my phone that I will click Pinterest first because I never feel worse about myself or my life after I go on Pinterest. It always just makes me feel really inspired and excited about life. And so I've been loving Pinterest lately. For books, I've talked about this one over on Instagram, but I've been loving Live No Lies by John Mark Comer. I'm about halfway through with this book right now, but I really enjoy it. I really like John Mark Comer's writing. If you're someone who finds you can't stay hooked on books very long, I would highly recommend him. This is a faith-based book. I just want to say that. The way that he writes, it's just so kind of quippy and quick and it's easy to follow along with. And so I've really been enjoying this book and just learning a lot from reading it. I've also been trying to keep my Amazon storefront updated too, especially if I have like a faith-based book section and that has a lot of my favorites. If you guys want to check that out, I'll have that link down below. And this is another thing. This is actually something from my friend Cayenne. She has her own brand. I believe it's called sunday matters but she was so sweet and sent me one of her church notes notebook she sells this over on her website and i just started using this when going to church i love how simple it is it just says title topic speaker and the date and it's nice just to have one space to put all of my church notes because before i would just use like a general journal or something but then it would get all mixed up but i like just having all of my notes specifically from church and this and so i'll link this down below if you're interested it's just very simple branding i really really like it i've really been liking true food lately i'm sure you've seen this everywhere but essentially they are these little desserts that you just keep in the freezer i think they have bananas they have cherries strawberries and they're covered in chocolate and they're so good for just that little sweet treat that you want at night. I usually just have a few, a couple of these and they really hit the spot and 
They seem just a little bit healthier than, you know, grabbing a chocolate bar, but I've really been enjoying those. This is a YouTuber I've been loving. She's also one of my friends and that is Rachel Vin. I have always liked Rachel's videos. I think I originally found Rachel from, she did like a wife talk video that I really enjoyed, but there's just something about her editing that is so unique compared to a lot of other people that I watch. They almost feel more like a short film. She just has like really quippy music. I feel like they are a much different feel than my own videos, but they're so entertaining and I just love what she shares about. She keeps it super real. I always love Rachel's videos, but especially lately, I feel like every time she pops up in my subscription box, I just get so excited. I often don't share my favorite YouTubers. I need to do that more because I love YouTube. I'm a YouTube girl. I love the long form content and she especially just does such a good job. So I'll have her link down below. Lastly, I have a podcast episode and this is very specific. It's from the Skinny Confidential podcast, which I like. I listen to every now and then. I wouldn't say it's on my kind of like regular rotation, but specifically this episode that I listened to recently is wild. If you're someone who kind of likes true crime, documentaries, I don't even know. I will read the title of it. It says, Kidnapped by Pirates for 93 Days, The Unbelievable True Story of Jessica Buchanan and Her Captivity. This podcast episode is wild. You have to listen to it. It is so entertaining, but also just so devastating to hear her story. But the way that she endured just the absolute unthinkable and still came out of it with hope and resilience, it is so inspiring and also just honestly really entertaining to listen to. So I'll have that link down below. I want to listen to more podcasts that are kind of along that line. If you know of any that are good, I feel like it was really interesting for me to learn throughout that podcast. And so let me know if you have anything that's kind of that similar vibe. I don't love true crime. I will say I'm not one of those people that loves true crime. I get way too freaked out for that. And I just don't think it's healthy for me. Maybe I'm just craving less kind of lifestyle-y content and more real life content, I don't know. But let me know if you have any that you like down below. That is it for this monthly reset. I'm really, really excited for May. I think that May is gonna be just a really special month. And yeah, I hope that this motivated you just to get organized, prep. I think it can sometimes be scary to reflect on just how quickly life is going. But having these days to just get all your ducks in a row, think about the month ahead. When I was planning out my goals and everything for this video, I just sat out on our little balcony and threw some music in, had my kombucha, and it was a vibe. I feel like you can make those kind of scary and intimidating things more fun by just romanticizing them, which I love to do. Thanks for being here. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.